Frustration is turning into desperation in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. Uh, homes are wiped out in downstate New York. There are long lines at stations that have gasoline and power is still out for millions. Artina Shively is the only local reporter on the ground reporting there and today she met up with local Red Cross volunteers. This is the Disaster Operations Headquarters for the American Red Cross in White Plains, New York. It's the home base for thousands of volunteers in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. As of last night, with the New York City shelters, there were 10,101 people still in shelters. The Red Cross estimates seven of the New York City area's 13 million people were impacted by Sandy. And a disaster of this kind requires an enormous amount of relief. Where are you going next, if you can be prepared for that type of work, Sarah Perkins of Henrietta is likely the most ready in the room. Texas uh, flooding, uh, Oregon wildfires, San Diego wildfires, North Dakota flood, New Jersey floods. Sarah is on her 30th deployment with the Red Cross. This is her office, working alongside people from across the U.S. This would be my first hurricane deployment. And uh, usually it's uh, local in Texas, but this is the first one that I've ever had to with uh, hurricanes. I needed to get that notch on my belt. This is my first uh, opportunity to come to New York. I wish it were under better circumstances, um, but I'm very excited to be here and be able to pitch in. Volunteers break down into groups like mass care, mental health care, and logistics, each with their own duties. It's a process Perkins calls controlled chaos. The ex-military and law enforcement officer says she doesn't plan to call it quits anytime soon. Why do you do this? <laughs> Why not do this? Who's going to? I love to do what I do. I love to help people. I think we all say that. But to be able to come up alongside somebody and tell them they're not alone, that's priceless. Every volunteer in this room has committed to at least two weeks on the job. Many tell me this time around the need is so great they expect to be here even longer. In White Plains, New York, Tina Shively, News 8.